It was good. Again. I'm not really comfortable saying that. K season 1 was fun, but it was mediocre. But these last two episodes of K, they... They haven't sucked! In fact, I've been rather impressed. This was what I wanted from K back in season 1. Actually, no, this is what I expected back in season 1. The only thing that I was a little skeptical about this episode was the rather abrupt time skip. That was at the beginning of the episode, if you don't remember. However, the more of the episode I watched, the more sense things were starting to make. People wouldn't gain powers overnight. It would at least take a week or two of silence from the Green Clan for the plan to actually work effectively. Ushimi wouldn't have been able to rank up in one day after all of the events of episode... I think it was eight? And the blue clan wouldn't be so worried about him if he was only gone for a day as well. So in all honesty, I think the time skip actually helped the show in the big picture. So bravo, Gora. I was also a little confused about the night party scene because there were a lot of questions that were left unanswered. For example, how did Siri and the other guy get in and how the hell did the green clan not know who the two were? Ushimi spoke of their tight security, yet they let higher ups of the blue clan into an event? Then hit me while watching the episode that the Green Clan simply does not give a fuck. This was made clear when Siri had mentioned that Nagare didn't even feel the need to hide anymore. Most of my issues with the episode were explained by the episode, with the exception of Shiro's plan, but I'm positive that that was done on purpose. And I say that because the drawing that he made to actually explain the plan looked like shit, and it made no sense. It almost felt like Kay was making fun of long-winded info dumps by just kind of showing you that in the long scheme it didn't really fucking matter. It was all part of a joke. The fight inside the elevator was beautiful, especially shot-wise. The colors did a good job in this episode at hinting and showing alliances, and the animation was as fluid as always. There were a few new songs as well that were nice to hear, which was also a pleasant surprise. I've also got a theory about Fushimi's allegiance due to the color usage of the last scene. I actually believe that Fushimi is still in alliance with the Blue Clan. And I say that because for some reason there was some type of overlooking blue lighting over the slates and and over the hiding spot. Why not green since it was the green that took over the slates? I think this shows that Fushimi's motive is just simply to use the green clan to take the Dresden slates. However, I could be wrong. That's not very often though. The LDR, it was good. Again. This is still confusing me, however, because I was expecting the show to be shit the whole way through since it started off pretty fucking terribly. It wasn't wrong, per se, you know, cause I'm never wrong. But I was surprised with the amount of thought put into smaller things in this episode of K alongside the cool fights and nicely paced build-up. Can Return of Kings keep this up, though? That's the real question. I hope so. I really, really hope so.